Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we'll see one of another definition of OData which is provided by SAP. OData is a web protocol based on REST for querying and updating data. We know this from my last video, what is REST and how OData is a REST API. And what is protocol? These all things we have discussed in my last video. It is used for querying and updating data over the web. But the OData build on primarily web technologies like HTTP, Atom Publish Protocol and RSS. Uh, these are the Atom Pub and RSS. HTTP we have already discussed in my last video. Atom and RSS, what it is these things we will discuss in this video. So basically these two technologies Atom and RSS which help us to understand when we see first time our OData service because where that particular format comes from that's very important for us so first we will see odata is being the combination of two essential part one is the format second is the protocol format defines how data is described how it is serialized means suppose we have a, in real time business data we have the sales order sales order item then product and like for example in purchase order purchase order item so we have to we have to display the data in a such a way so it will be serialized first all the items should come first all the sales order come then the items should come then then other product is there then products should, should come this kind of serialization we need so we have to define as a format how our data should look like and second is the protocol protocol means we want to not only we want to display the data we want to uh, get the data we want to update the data and we want to update or we want to delete the data. We want to modify that data particularly. So before doing that, we have to set the some of the protocols, some of the rules which will which should be followed if you want to do that kind of modifications. So all data basically part they're divided into two essential parts. One is the format, second is the protocol. We will discuss first where this format comes in the all data comes from, where it is came from. So, origin of all data format comes from web logs, blogging, and syndications. So, one of the very popular uh, web log format is rich site summary. So, NASA also uses uh, the to create their RSS feed this particular format. So, what how they you how they do? You can see this how this format rich site summary format look like. There will be one root node there, which is called RSS. Inside that we we have some header node channel inside the channel header node we are having some kind of the information for the title and in informations and descriptions and links so header information is there then we have the line item data also there like item one and item two where we can see actual news latest news will be displayed first and later on other news will be displayed and this all the format you can see in the xml format so this is how the rss format look like so you can see this format is like that we have uh, one root node then channel then item we we need that kind of format because we want to display the sales order then sales order items then products so we want to display in the in same way we want to we want to display our uh, data information as well atom is a format very similar to rss this is called atom syndication format so atom syndication format it defines the information same in the xml format and not only define the format but also it will define the set of rules using that we we can uh, modify the data that set of rules defined by atom publishing protocols they defined already it built on top of again http method which is get put post and delete and those methods help web blockers not only display their information on the web blocks but also if they want to modify the their web blocks from the uh, web blocks they can modify they can delete or they can add some additional information and those old things they can do over the web so this is the one of the format on top of that odita build on you can see this is a one of the service atom service if you see this service and you will see the odita service it's a very similar to that you can see there are different workspaces are there they there are information information represented in the form of the collections these are the one of the example service example for the atom 
Now we will see our actual OData service, how it looks like. The idea of Atom form the OData. So OData has a service document which describes the what kind of data in it. And second thing, in same like in Atom and RSS, we are having feeds and entries, entity entries. In the same way in OData, we have entity set and entities. And third thing, whatever the operation we can do in Atom, create, read, update, and delete query these and query options, that also we can do in OData. Now what we will do, we will see our first service document of North Wind that is a very popular OData service and we will see and we will try to understand basics of OData service. We try to understand how the OData service look like and we will see the how, how the metadata of the OData service will look like. The Northwind OData service is maintained by OSS organizations. So this is the one of the popular OData service which is available for everybody you can explore that OData service and you can learn more about the OData. And uh, one, more, one more important things about the service, it's actually replicate the business data. So that is the reason it is useful. So let me search Northwind OData service and as soon as you search Northwind OData service, first link is there. You can open that particular OData service Northwind and make sure initially we'll use version two uh, it's if it is version 4 just make it v2 i don't want to discuss initially was v4 so this is the version 2 north point o data service so this is the service document whatever you are seeing here this is the service document in the form of xml but one more important thing when you open this particular service document you might not able to see in the structure format the all the things will be here and they are scattered if it is the things like that then you have to make sure you have to install one one of the important extension that is called odata tree or oh no sorry xml tree and that you have to add in your chrome browser use chrome browser i always recommend you guys to use the chrome browser and uh, add this extension it will display the xml in prettier format in good format so you can understand easily so this is the odata service so from this service, what we will get to know, this service tell us and inside it's look like you can see the atom document which we have discussed in my PPT. It's similar to that atom only, but in the it can see that it will give what kind of information it will give, what all are the resources this particular service going to return, those information this particular service document will give. In this case, you can see uh, this particular service will return us categories, customers, employees, order detail, order, product, regions. These all the informations will be returned by this particular service. And this is the uh, form of the collection they have maintained this particular service. And you can see these all are the takes one workspace, then service, then workspace take, then there, there are some header data, and then the different, different collections are there. Inside the collection, we can see the title, that particular it is still telling that the what all are the information you are going to get from this particular service. This is the one thing. Now, I know I will get the information related to employee or order from this particular service, but what exactly information I will go, going to get? I will get the employee ID or employee number or employee name. Those kind of information is not available in service document. So for that information, we have to use the metadata of this particular service. So what is metadata? It's nothing, just data about data. It's like the uh, when we create the table, first we define the uh, fields of that particular table. So how the fields are there? That data, the data about data table is uh, in SC11 when we create the table. That is data about data. That is metadata only. Same way in the old data service also we will see the first metadata of that particular service. To see the mot metadata, just what you have to do, uh, you have to write the dollar metadata at the end of your service, then you will get the metadata information of this particular service. This metadata information is very, very important. Once, because it's not only for the ABAPR, it's for the everybody who are, who are using this whole data service, they have to know this particular metadata information. How to read this metadata information, that's a very important thing for the ABAPRs, for the query guys, 
or for the JavaScript guys, for the Java guys, whoever using this OData service, they need to learn how to read this particular OData document, metadata document. So in this case, you can see we have, again, it is XML file. In your case, if it is dis displayed like a scatter form, install XML tree, it will be look very good format. And you can see in this particular, we have something called the entity type. So there are something, uh, other takes are there, uh, ADMX and data service inside the schema, we have the entity type. So we are worrying about here entity type. If you want to relate the SAP object with the entity type, it's just like a structure, which is giving the information about the, what kind of field you are having, what is the length of that field, it's nullable or not, what is the maximum length, it's unicode or not, those kind of information it is given by in this particular field, in all the fields of that particular entity, entity, so which we are going to get from the database. So in this case, the entity type, just you can assume like the ESOP now, you can assume like the structure. It is giving the field information. In this case, field is the properties, properties information. For, for example, the cat category is the one of the entity type. It is telling, it is having these many fields. Uh, for example, out of them, cat category ID is the key field. And uh, after, what is the length of that field? What if it is nullable or not? What is the, it is what type of field? It is integer, string, binary. And those kind of information we will get in this entity type. You can see uh, not only this entity type, you can see the multiple entity types are there. Uh, category entity type there, customer demographic is there, the employee is there, product is there, all the entity type you can see. The second thing, apart from the properties in the entity type, we have one important property that is called the navigation property. So we understood the first, what is entity type, what information it will give, and one of the property it will give the navigation property. This navigation property basically it will tell the relationship between the two entity types. So for example, in this case, you can see what is the relationship between the category and product entity type that relationship it will give us. If you search it, if you copy this particular relationship, control C, and if you try to try out to find out this particular relationship in this particular document, you will get the association detail. That will explain you so in this case, first, uh, this is the navigation property name and what is the relationship name for this particular navigation property and from where to where we are going. If you open this particular navigation property, if you copy and find out again in this particular document, you will go to the association. So you can see the something called the association name is particular this FK product categories. So each navigation will be linked to the association. An association will tell the relationship, what is the actual relationship between your source and target. You can say between two entity, what is the relationship? And that association name is the navigation property will be the name of that particular association. So in the association, what kind of information is there? So there are the two roles and means that is, there is nothing that these are the entities are there. One is the categories and one is the product. Before going to this association, I want to explain something else. Uh, we talked about the entity type, but if you close this schema, double click just, it will close and there is another schema. Inside the another schema, something called entity container or you can search directly entity container here in your browser, then you will get this particular fields. There are a lot of entity sets are there. So if you, what is entity set? We discuss entity type like in ABAP, we can say structure. So entity set, it's like a tables, which will actually store the data. So for example, this categories is the one of the entity set, which is the type of category entity type. In the same way, employees is the entity set, which is the type of the customer entity type. So you have just have to assume if you, if you are not familiar from the data, you just have to assume like that. This is the entity type like a structure. We are declaring the customer's table, which is type of this customer. Or if you are already familiar, then you are, if you want to learn from fresh, this is like it is telling what kind of the information in this particular entity set will be available. What kind of the, uh, what, what is the detail? This structure will be having the, all the detail, what all are the fields are there? What kind of fields are there? What is the navigation property? Those all the informations will be available in the, this particular entity types. And this entities set, will store actual information. So categories is the entity 
and you will see the this naming conventions also this is very useful we have to follow the standard naming convention when we create our order data service they can you can see the category is the singular and categories is a plural and they are using everywhere everywhere camel case so that's a very important thing and uh, these are the entity sets are available each respect to the particular entity what all are the entity types is there and they are defined for this particular entity set what is the type of this particular entity type of this particular entity set this is the one thing and now we will go to the association if you search again back this is the uh, i will talk about association set before going to association set uh, let me open again this one our first entity so as i told you this navigation property in the entity type will define the navigate uh, will define the relationship between the two entity i can say two entity types so you can say or uh, you can say this like this also uh, it is define the relationship between two entity set as well so 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 entity type what is the relationship between the products entity set and categories entity set that relationship define in this particular association or the association if you open this one you just have to copy this one this is the relationship name that is uh, that is the uh, association if you open this association the navigation property name is the products but the association name is the fk product categories you have to copy this one and you have to search it out and you can search that that association name is this one the association detail you will find in the association text this all the association text will be up, uh, available after the all the entity types declaration you can see first all the entity types are defined then the uh, then the associations are defined so what all are the associations are available in this case the the relationship name is only the association name so if you go up again you can see uh, first the all the entity types are defined if you minimize all the entity types here then you will finally get uh, uh, once the all the entity types will end then you will get the still the entity type the, the once it got everything got end then you will got the first association so association this is giving the detail as i told you the navigation property we have defined the relationship relationships is nothing this is the association this association that giving the detail the relationship between the two entity sets in this case categories entity sets i already explained which actually contain the data it's like internal table it's 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 giving the relationship between the categories and products so in this one of the in this association definition very important thing multiplicity this will tell the multiplicity for example for categories multiplicity it is telling 0 to 1 what it is telling for one product how many categories can available either it can be some it fall into some category or it will not fall into any category that is the reason it is 0 to 1 the another way uh, for example product is telling that multiplicity is star for one category how many products are possible in this case n number of products we can create under the one category so it's like that this multiplicity give the information uh, information for other entity for other one entity how many entities can be possible for this particular relationship so this is very important thing again i'm telling in the categories if multiplicity is 0 to 1 then we have to take for one product how many categories are possible either there will be fall in the category 0 or it will be one it will fall under one category and in the other way for if i will talk about the product multiplicity star means for one category how many products can be possible in this case n number of products can be possible this is how we define the uh, association between the uh, two entity sets that's a very important thing and now we talk about we talked about the association in same if you talk about association if you will be having something called association set also respecting to the association that again it will define only the uh, what is the entity set corresponding the association for categories this is the entity set just it will give the information about the entity set nothing else so this is the one thing regarding the association now what we will do this is the all about metadata file there are two part i can see uh, the one part is having the all the entity type information and uh, 
association information and second part is having all the entity set informations and association set informations information you can see so this is like we can read we have to read this we have to learn how to read this particular metadata file this is the basic very basic things and we uh, when we create our audit our own deed audit a service from the ssp then we will go much deeper than whatever we have learned but as of now you have to learn what all are the data we can access this how to read this particular audit file now what we will do we will access that particular entity set how to access that particular entity set nothing just you have to come copy the service name this is the this is the service document it will open uh, this will us what all are the resources it will going to return us oh set control v again i will put enter this will give us what all are the resources going to return i want to get this resources you have to copy this resource basically suppose i want to get the product resource uh, products there is something called resource name is products or we can say resource or entity set they are used interchangeably in audit a lot of time so no need to worry about that you can tell the entity set i want to access the name is entity name of the entity set is products so what it will do it will return us all the products informations so this is again one thing this is actual data information this is not the metadata we got the metadata we saw how, what, what all are the information it can return i saw the what all are the entity set can return it can see these number of entity set now i want to access this particular products entity set so what i did i write my service name forward slash i wrote the products it will give me all the products detail in the xml format to to see this format in very cleaner format install xml tree i means aid your extension is xml tree or any uh, extension you can use which will be displayed in the prettier format as of now i'm using xml tree that, that is the reason i'm telling the same if you have a better one you can use that one now what i will do you can see this one uh, this is the i got the all the products for the uh, whatever the this particular service will return in from that backend system i got all the products informations so you can see uh, this is the again this is very important xml file we have to understand this all the thing the first tag is feed inside the feed we will get all the detail inside the feed uh, we will be having the some header information like title id links and other or inside this we have the line items like entry this is one entry this is second entry the entry for each product this is nothing entry means it is data related for, for particular product and if you open this particular entry data again this in this have some header data and for this entry what all are the in inside the content you will see the all the properties uh, what is the product id what is the product name is chai so what is the supplier id category id and quantity and all the other informations what promised by the metadata file the we can see if you see the product here if i see the product here let me open search again product product okay let me come down entity type is product where is oh yeah you can this metadata file promised me to return product id product product name category id quantity per unit unit price this all the detail promised by metadata file and we got this all the details when we access actually this particular products entity set from this particular service so you can see i can see all these details came apart from this all the details this properties detail this content we got some other information as well that is very important for us a lot of links are there this links corresponding if you see this product uh, uh, entity set here entity type here for that particular entity set what is the entity type in this entity type there is three navigation properties it is telling that the, what is the relationship between the product and category product and order detail and product and supplier so this giving us there are the three relationship between this these of or for each relationship we have one association defined you can just copy it out and see what is the association and how it is defined and you can see the multiplicity also but if you see the important thing is that no need to go there if you, if you find out here this is the this is the link we can see and the second what type of this particular link now what type of this particular relation somewhere we say we can see entry somewhere we say 
feed and somewhere again we can see entry feed means it will return multiple data so basically i can you can understand feed this is the one feed inside the feed we have the entry tags multiple entry tag in same way we will get if you try to access this particular product this is the reader product category as i know for this product uh, and for this product there will be only one category so that is the reason i can see i will get one entry only but if i see here feed means for this product that can be multiple orders available for one material in sap one material you can create a lot of sales orders in same way in here for one product we can have multiple orders so that is the reason it will return the feed of all the orders and another way the supplier for the this particular product uh, that uh, in this case we have we if you see it is again return us that that, that particular one entry the if, if supplier detail it will return so for the supplier what is the detail for one supplier there will be only the <laughs> one detail only in the system so that is the reason again we can see the entry this is the type where again we have to understand whenever we are reading this particular particular product so you can see you have to see what type of the information it will read based on that the front end developer or fury developer they will write the code or uh, we can also understand if we have to return the relation what kind of relationship we have to return first we have to see the model then we have to uh, we have to return we have to define the association accordingly we will see in the system but first we have to understand this particular file so this is the how we have to read the link information now i read the product information suppose i want to i in this case i not only i got the product number one i got another, another product number four other products also i got this is an xml format if you want to access the inf same information in json format also that also you can access just this is the v2 data service i'm talking about as of now v2 or v2 type of own data service so if you click on question marks and a dollar dollar format dollar format equal to json if you give like this this is the one query option available in our data i will explain all the query options so as of now you remember two things how to get the metadata just power says dollar metadata you will get the metadata of that file and if you want to access any information of that particular entity set just write that entity set you will get all the information and you want to get that particular information in the json format just you have to write this query option you have to remember dollar format equal to json after the question mark you will get the same information in the json format instead of the xml format you can see it's very clear and cleaner data so that is the reason uh, the json format is preferable in v4 or data service if you directly access the v4 or data service it will be displayed in the json format we'll discuss in some other case you can see i can see access the data uh, product id and this in this case this is the first data set then second product then third product like that we can see all the product informations one by one okay this is again prettier format you can see metadata this is the product id first product this is second product this is third product this is fourth product this is fifth product like that we have all the product informations suppose i want to get only the one product information just you have to give you know the what is the key field for this one from this product id is the key field so you have just you have to just pass that particular one key field here after the bracket suppose i want to get the order number one or order number five whatever the order number you want just want to get just you can get that particular order number in this case i want to get the order number five i got the order number in this case if i see in the xml format this is you can see the json format uh, if you see in the xml format this is again very pretty clear uh, clear you can see one thing only get and the what is the root node here we can see the entry not the feed because we ask for the one particular product this will be the one particular entry note in the form of the feed if you ask for the entire products it will be feed and inside the feed you will be getting this particular entry that's a very important thing uh, what else i missed i explained the relationship basic things i can say i have covered in this video we have learned about the service document and how to see the metadata information of that particular service document in my next video we will see the different deployment options of o data in sap like embedded hub central hub in detail before going to that video please like this video share this videos with others as well with that thank you and happy learning